Hello, my name is Katrine Holfia, and I would like to present the work of my master thesis with the title saying Implementation of Contractability in Conceptual Design. My research was developed with supervision and support from Professor Paul Henning Kierkegaard and Valentina Bertini from Aarhus University in Denmark. The presentation consists of six topics, the background of the research, the methodology for a new contractability tool, architectural geometry, components of the developed contractability tool, application of the tool, and in the end, the conclusion. One of the first steps of my research was to analyze the traditional design process, where the tasks are divided and sold separately in a linear sequential flow, as illustrated here. Here, the architect is in charge in the first phases, where the design freedom is at its highest, and then the engineer is implemented later, when the form of the design already, to a certain extent, is fixed. It was here determined that these traditional strategies are challenged in the contemporary building projects that hinders the opportunity of investigating different solutions simultaneously in relation to both the aesthetics, the structural performance, and the execution of a design proposal, which sometimes require additional design changes, resulting in an increased costs and delays. It indicated a need for a larger focus on contractability, especially for freeform architecture and its influence on the tectonic value uh, already in the conceptual design phase. So to make this possible, it requires an integrated design process where the engineer and the constructor is implement implemented far earlier in the process, as I will illustrate here. Um, it would also support the increasing use of parametric software, uh, since it also advocates for a more integrated and iterative process uh, where, it, where it's possible to go back and forward between the different uh, phases. So based on this research, the following hypothesis was formulated for the further work of the thesis. Through the implementation of a digital usability tool in the conceptual design phase, the aesthetic and structural quality of a design would enhance tectonic excellence. I will now uh, present the result, the methodology of this new digital usability tool, uh, which you can see here. Um, and the methodology is divided into five stages, conception, design development, preliminary fin element analysis, evaluation and final concept, uh, illustrated by these green circles. The white diagonal arrow indicates the timeline of the conceptual design phase, and the small figures at each stage shows who is involved in the given stage. The orange circles represent the design activity categories used in the respective stage. In the first stage, conception, the design essence should be defined. Then in the next stage, design development, different design concepts should arise where four categories have been developed uh, to support the process with a focus on contractability. And they are freeform surface, mesh, grid, and type of joints. The architect is in charge of this stage where the engineer and constructor are implemented and contribute with their knowledge supporting and more integrated design process. Then the next stage is preliminary fine element analysis. Uh, and then the next stage is uh, evaluation, where the concept shall be evaluated by all the stakeholders, and then a final concept shall be chosen. The five categories with a tool mark indicate that they are part of the digital accountability tool and has components attached to it. Yes, to reach to this methodology, a research of architectural Geometry was done, uh, where among other, it was concluded that element connective angles are very important to consider since they delimit the selection of joint types that are possible to use in a design, uh, which truly influence the constructability and the final appearance of the design of a grid shell. So, based on this uh, study of architectural geometry, these 15 requirements were formulated for the methodology of the tool. And based on these requirements, uh, the components of the tool could be developed, which you can see here. And they are divided into five categories matching those in the design development and evaluation stage in the methodology. 
And I will just quickly go over each component, all the components I explained uh, in detail in my master thesis. The last chapter of my research was to test the developed methodology by applying it to a real design case. Here the recently venerated Villa Copenhagen was chosen as case where one of the existing courtyards has been transformed to an indoor space by establishing a roof structure between the four exterior walls. The methodology was applied to the case and the five stages was executed with the implementation of the development uh, components. For the design development stage, it is possible for the designer to choose different approaches uh, for the order of the four categories, supporting a high design freedom and creativity. Then three concepts were developed, which all was evaluated in relation to structural layout, the aesthetics, the cost and construction, and therefore evaluated based on the Teutonic value of the design. Then I will shortly go over the conclusion. The, uh, the application demonstrated that implementing more knowledge in the conceptual design phase did not limit the design freedom and creativity. As a matter of fact, it contributed with the opposite. The implementation fosters the possibility of relating the generated form, the material and the chosen technique to one another in the same program where the components will be mutually informed. It creates an optimal foundation for enhancing tonic excellence and thereby verifies the formulated hypothesis of this thesis. Yes, that was all for me. Thank you for your time. I can be contacted on this email if you have any questions.